I just want a little, first of all, I want to thank the madam and the minister for the, uh, for the time. I think I personally I learned something that was really uh, uh, insightful and I, I enjoyed it. Now, I just want to say something. Um, I could remember somewhere, you know, it's like in most uh, places, when, uh, for, when they get foreign investment, the, the host community always layers with the foreign investors to uh, maybe employ their people or transfer skills or something like that. So there was this particular place where they had these foreign investors. So they said, okay, uh, the community negotiated with them that we need uh, the chief accountant or per se of the company to come from the community because they were at uh, the signing agreement where they will have some percentage sharing. So they said they need someone from the community to be part of that. They said they would know how much is coming to the company, they said they would know how much belongs to them. So I didn't know they okay, the company came up with their own uh, criteria and so okay, the best way we, we want to employ must have these certain qualifications. So they looked around the community and uh, after a long time they didn't find anybody. So they started looking for it. After some time, they got someone who meets their qualification and the guy was employed. So at the end of the day, the community members started complaining that this guy has been lucky since from bed. Anything that comes is all, always the one that gets the opportunity. And the guy was employed. So what I'm trying to uh, point out there is luck. People say people are lucky. People are lucky. Luck for me is when preparedness meets opportunity. Mm -hmm. It becomes luck. So, now, even as everybody has a dream and a passion and a vision for something, anything you want to do, you must prepare yourself for it. Yeah. I've heard stories of people who won Lotto, got $10 million or $10 million rent. After like two years, you see them with nothing. Why? They were not prepared for that money. <laughs> they don't know how to handle it. So as much as we want to excel in business or anything we want to do, to prepare is very, very important. And having the right attitude. You know, having the right attitude. They can throw you in the midst of millions. If you don't have the right mental attitude, it's not going to mean anything to you. So attitude, preparedness, and acquiring knowledge is very important in any sphere of life. Thank you.